scale yet. Uh, probably like 16, 17, 18 is what I'm Come around here and get that screen. We're doing it kind of early. Come on, Since Marvin's the son, I don't think you've ever met him. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 chill out. Teaching him early, huh? Yeah, I have to. All right, Mom. You need to lay down, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is, is the part right here. Too. Yeah. Okay, baby. I, I uh -huh. stay. This is what you call the Green Street Hula Hoop. There you go. Stay. Shout out to Kaizen. <laughs> hey, hey. Your mama was so much better than you. I know. Stay. You got a hold of me. Get a, get a good tight grip on her. Stay. What day are we at here? Probably like 16, 17, 18 is what I'm Come around here and get that screen. We're doing it kind of early, but we're just testing the waters. If anybody can find a Nino in there to be Ted Luck. It's too early. Too early. You got bladder to the right side of the screen. And there's couple circles just to the left and then she'll quit moving. That's the uterus. But too early. Damn. Damn boy. Damn. Two weeks. Two more weeks? Yeah. Alright. What's today's date? <laughs> Dang man. Ted Lock's over here doing some magical stuff. <laughs> Say it again. You about to bring that dog back to life, right? Which one? This one. He's already waking up. Though. He's already waking up. <laughs> the Lazarus effect. They need to call that drug Lazarus. <laughs> <laughs> so. I've told people this before, and unfortunately, Specialist Kennels reached out. He uh, lost the whole litter down there, and he was asking me a bunch of numbers. Numbers give you perspective on what to do and when to do things. So it walked him through progesterone numbers, reverse, and going to temperature, all that stuff. Um, so for breeding, it all depends on what, what machine you're using. We're using an IDEX machine right now. I've used the TOSO. I've heard people use the Wanzo. Yeah. Uh, Wanfu, I think, is one too. Wanfu. There's so many out there, and every machine's so different. On the IDEX, we're breeding when they're about 13 to 20, 25, depending on what you're, are you live covering, um, TCI, surgical AI, all varies a little bit. Uh, breed then, and then on the way down, run progesterones, and we can do a C section, or they're ready anytime when they're less than two. Meaning, like, the negative two on the. Will be two. So we can't go negative. <clears throat> so so what two and less, they're ready to go. Only I had perfect. one. Yep, I had one go from eight and a half to one and a half overnight on Saturday, Friday to Saturday. Yep. And why does that happen? Do you know? I've never seen one go that fast. <laughs> so it normally drops by two points, I believe, right? One to two. One to two points from the time, like we're getting the day 57, yeah. 58, 59, yeah. 60. Godly. So is any of that stuff ever stress induced? Hmm. Well, it just happens. Just happens. I mean, she was ready. She just tanked in a good way. <laughs> good for business. So we had how many? It was two puppies, right, Rachel? And the last six. Yes. Yeah. Two healthy puppies. Just two. Mm -hmm. What breed? Frenchie. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. That's, you're always lucky if you get two to four pups in a Frenchie litter. People, you start hearing thirteen to twelve pups. That's a Boston Terriers. Yeah. The one we did earlier Saturday, we had. Five. Yes, we have five. And now from a temperature standpoint, when you start talking about sickness, what are the temps someone should be concerned with if a dog's temp gets over 102.5? Like just in general? Yeah, just in general. Um, I don't worry too bad when it's under 103. When you start getting 103 and a half plus, we, we need to be looking at something for sure. Okay. And 104, 105 is what? Pretty dangerous. <laughs> It's not funny, but I tell yeah. these people all the time, especially when we've got these breeds that are overheating. Yeah. Huh. I think and the it, highest I've seen 
one oh I've seen it just read high before, but the number I've seen is like one oh seven, I think's the highest I've ever seen. And is there anything that they can do to bring a dog back to life once it gets to those dangerous organ failing temperatures? Cooling it off, alcohol on the pads um, will work. Um, sometimes we'll do a cool bath, um, but then you gotta be careful not to bring it down too fast because then we get hypothermia and then we gotta battle that back up. And then you're just, then you're stressing the body out and do you cause something to go into organ failure. So is there a perfect temperature then when doing a cool bath <coughs> to monitor regulating that temperature degree? Yeah. Right. Like if the dog's 102, should the water be 70 or something versus 102 is normal. So. I mean, well, you know, I mean, 105 or 106. It's no. cool. <laughs> so alcohol, alcohol does what? Just so people know. Just helps pull all that, that temp out. I just put on the paw pads. Interesting. So keep alcohol at the crib. Mm -hmm. Interesting. We're gonna, we'll do some more videos on that, people. Stay tuned. Thanks, man.